Hello and welcome, particularly welcome if it's this is your first rehearsal. Um, it's really fantastic to have you with us uh, for what promises to be a really exciting um, project uh, together. I am just so thrilled that the uh, National Methodist Choir of Great Britain are working in partnership uh, with the wonderful youth music charity One Sound uh, and have um, offered an invitation to all of their alumni to come together and to play together once more um, and also work working with the National uh, Methodist Youth Brass Band as well. So um, all in all, 10,000 reasons. We might not quite have 10,000 uh, people uh, with players and uh, singers, uh, but we're suddenly going to have a fair old few uh, as we have our combined choirs, um, an orchestra and a brass band all coming together um, to sing and to play and to worship. So I'm really excited and looking forward to it all coming together. So the purpose of this video is just to give you an introduction to 10,000 Reasons and all, all the music. Um, as we go along, the music will appear on the screen for you. So... Um, and hopefully, by the end of this video, you'll feel pretty happy about what it is you, you'll be doing. Once you've uh, been through the rehearsal video and you feel happy with your part, of course, you can rewind at any point for if any bit is uh, unclear. Um, once you're completely happy with your part, then you can go on to the run-through or the record your part. Um, bit of the website and you'll see there's the run through videos um, and there's also instructions about how to record yourself so just a just a reminder with that the idea is that you plug your uh, headphones into one device to be able to watch the video and then with another device you film yourself and that's it said very simply so anyway there's a more detailed kind of beginner's guide on the website should you want it so let's get started shall we um, so this is the very beginning of 10,000 Reasons, and the first thing you'll hear is a four-bar introduction, which sounds something like this. And then we all sing together. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, O oh my soul. Worship His holy name Sing like never before Oh my soul I worship Your holy name I'm sure many of you are really familiar with this song um, But what we're going to do is just sing the chorus again together Bless the Lord my soul, oh my soul, worship his holy name, sing like never before, oh my soul, I worship your holy name. So, um, it sits relatively high in the voice. I have lowered it down quite a bit from where it was um, it was originally. Um, but particularly the, Oh, my soul, sits relatively high in some of our ranges. Um, what I'd encourage you to do is think about it coming over the top of the head. It's like kind of coming out the crown of your head. Oh, my soul, rather than it being a kind of, I'm <clears throat> going to power through, Oh, my soul. Because um, A, it'll hurt, and um, B, probably won't sound quite as pretty as it could do. Um, so we're going to think about it going over the top of the head there. Let's have a go. Um, once more, of the chorus, thinking about it being like it's coming up over the back, top of the neck and through the crown as the kind of the direction of the sound. Bless the Lord, oh my soul, oh my soul. Worship His holy name Sing like never before Oh my soul I worship Your holy name Okay, so we're going to carry on now into verse 1 The sun comes up it's a new day dawning 
It's time to sing your song again Whatever may pass and whatever lies before me Let me be singing when the evening comes Okay, so we do that again together. We're going to just watch very carefully at the very end. Evening comes, um, and we're going to make comes a dotted minim. So we're going to add on a one extra beat um, to what's notated down there. Okay, so we're going to make a note of that, and I'll make sure I show you. The sun comes. Let's try it together. Three. The sun comes up. It's a new day dawning It's time to sing your song again Whatever may pass and whatever lies before me Let me be singing when the evening comes then we're back into the chorus. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, O oh my soul. Worship his holy name. Sing like never before, O oh my soul. I worship your holy name. Okay, so verse 2 slightly different rhythm to verse one you're rich in love and you're slow to anger your name is great and your heart is kind so that's the moment where there's the the rhythm um just changes a little bit from the first verse and just comes in that little bit earlier on your name is great you're rich in love and you're slow to anger your name is great and your heart is kind for all your goodness i will keep on singing let's carry on ten thousand reasons for my heart to find the chorus bless the lord oh my soul oh my soul worship his holy name sing like never before I worship your holy name. It goes into an instrumental. So hopefully you're feeling happy with everything so far. Um, hopefully it was all, um, well, if, if you know this song, it would be familiar territory. And um, if you don't know it, hopefully that all makes sense so far. Um, now the next little section is kind of specific to this arrangement. Um, and the first thing that happens is uh, where it's marked inst on your music is an instrumental and the band play first then gentlemen join in oh, 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 oh. then everyone oh, oh, oh. Good. It's just worth mentioning there um, that all the sopranos and altos, you're very low in your register. Oh, in a pure unison with the uh, tenors and basses who are, are high in their register. Uh, so let's just do the instrumental one last time. Gents. Oh, 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 oh. Sopranos and altos join. Oh, 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 oh. An 
on that day when my strength is failing the end draws near and my time has come still my soul will sing your praise on ending ten thousand years and then forever So that verse is the last thing we sing in unison all together. Um, and it does start piano. And I had an interesting conversation um, about whether this should be quiet or whether it should be proclamatory, that um, what a good thing it is when we get to meet, meet our maker and be with our father. Um, however, I think we, we are going to go on a bit of a journey. Um, so we're going to start this um, soft. And on that day, but it's kind of soft with a purpose. Uh, when my strength is failing, the end draws near, and my time has come, then we'll grow. Still my soul will sing your praise on ending, then strong. Ten thousand years and then forevermore. You'll notice I've just extended the more there to be three beats again, so we're kind of consistent with our with our final phrases. Um, let's try all of the third verse together. And on two three. And on that day when my strength is failing, the end draws near and my time has come. Still my soul will sing your praise on ending. Ten thousand years and then forevermore. Bless the... Okay, so here we have our harmony moments. Okay, uh, so tenors, um, we now break into harmony. This is the kind of um, the peak of the piece. And uh, tenors, you're going to start on the, the C here on bless and so let's um, read it together we'll um, have a sing and see what we what we make of this bless the lord O oh my soul O oh my soul worship his holy name sing like never before Oh my soul, I worship your holy name. That's it. So we get this lovely rising line in the first time bar there. Worship your holy name. Let's sing that again. Worship your holy name. Okay. That's in contrast to the second time bar worship your holy name this is very only uh, a slight difference there's one note which is different um which is on the ho worship your holy name so first time worship your holy name second time Worship your holy name. It'd be great if it could be lovely and clear between those those two um, uh, two variations there. Um, so we're going to sing now the chorus again, at 1B, um, and we're going to sing it twice, so we'll just try it with those two different endings. So bless the one, two, three. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, O oh my soul, worship his holy name, sing like never before, O oh my soul, 
I worship your holy name. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, O oh my soul. Worship his holy name. Sing like never before, O oh my soul. I worship your holy name. Then I jump here, okay. So we've just sung the second time bar <coughs> with that um, change to the note on ho. Worship your holy name. Then it jumps up. Yes, I will worship your holy name. Lord, I worship your holy name. Good, and that name is only two beats long. So we uh, just need to make sure that's lovely and clean as we come off. Otherwise, we get this funny crunch. Uh, again, as the rest of the harmony moves. So you're just going to try that moment where we're saying, uh, worship your holy name three times. This is from the second time bar. Worship your holy name. I worship your holy name. Jump up. Yes, I will worship your holy name. Lord, I worship your holy name. Okay, there's a tiny little instrumental moment here. We sound nicer than that. And then we sing in unison together. Sing like never before, oh my soul. I worship your holy name. Yes, I will worship your holy name. Lord, I worship your holy name. So you probably uh, recognised that uh, this tag idea at the very end there, <coughs> the harmonies, uh, almost identical to the harmonies that we sang from the second time bar earlier on where we were uh, focusing a moment ago. Um, the only difference really is that in the, the very the very final Lord I worship your holy name, the Lee name is lower and longer. Um, so the final phrase, Lord I worship your holy name. Which is in contrast to, um, if we look earlier on, the final Lord, I worship your holy name of the earlier section. Lord, I worship your holy name. Okay, so we'll just compare that with the very end now where it um, slows down. Lord, I worship your holy name. Okay, wonderful. Uh, thank you so much, Tanners. Um, it's been really good to be able to sing with you. Thank you for giving up your time to do that. And I, um, I really look forward to seeing your video. Um, do send one in. It'd be really great to, uh, to add your voice to this. Uh, and until next time, I can't wait to sing with you again. Thanks.